All right, this is Mofo. See that? And today we are doing this month's loot crate maze theme is power for the Civil War film, which is in this case one of the rare times where I review it after the movie has come out. So. Um, the box is a bit more squarish than the other ones, which is pretty good, so that means there's a lot more square stuff in it. So let's see what that entails. So, power with lightning strikes. Watch, listen, play, and share. Enjoy more of power at the lootcrate.com slash experience. So bring this down more. And here's a Marvel Power Glove. The Thanos, the Infinity Gauntlet. An oven man that fits pretty nice, but it's weird they only give you one. So I have my own oven mints already, so I don't think I'll use this in time soon. It's nice that they, like, did that to us. And, and here's the shirt. It's a gray shirt with the red ink on it. Ooh, for the Warcraft. So there's the orc and the human right there. Pretty nice. Loot Crate exclusive shirt. Doesn't have any other things on it, it's just that. So. And then we have some Dragon Ball stuff. Surreal Entertainment slash Loot Crate Incorporated. They did this back in... Oh, they produced this back in March in China. So it's... Oh, so it's a hanging thing. Where you hang it and that's how it'd be. So it's Shen Ron with his really fake whiskers with the four star Dragon Ball, which is one of the most famous Dragon Balls for the plot point. And here we have the Avengers, Asia Holt, Ultron, Q Fig, the Hulk. So this is the animated statue version of it. And it opens up on the front here. So let's see. So it's in a clam shell packaging. And the tape here and here. And the sides of it. And see. Hulk in the uh, Avengers pants with him slamming onto the ground with the splintering up as you see around him. Pretty nice color. And the bottom with the figure dust. The Marvel Avengers Age of Ultron, Q Fig, the Hulk. Marvel. It's interesting that they put out the Age of Ultron version of the Hulk this late. It's a couple months after their, yeah, year? Less than a year, a couple months still, from the last Avengers movie since Captain America 3 came out a while ago. And here's the loot pin. It has robot? Looks like a robot. Power lifting robot. May 2016. Power. And as always with these new ones, this the pin unlocks something epic if you go to lucrate.com slash pins to unlock exclusive content. And here has more explosions. So we just got out of a building. So this on the back tells you how to build these 
the diorama. And here we have the Hulk. It's really good depiction of the Hulk. The power, unstoppable, unstoppable, unrelenting, unbeatable. So this is the Loot Crate magazine for power. The Hulk story. Oh, it has different incarnations of the Hulk, with the Savage Hulk, Grey Hulk, Professor Hulk, and the Green Scar version of Hulk. Here's your shirt. The, yeah, the Warcraft t-shirt. Ah, and gives you a little timeline about Warcraft. So it talks about the Titans, the War of the Ancients, the Orcs, Azura. It said the plush keychain. Uh, no fun fact. If Goku was in Super Saiyan form, it would power a stadium. His energy levels would power a stadium for four, 143 years straight. A quick look at Dragon Ball Z power levels, which Yamcha and Gohan on the smaller portion. A Krillin being 10,000 power levels, with Yamcha only being 0 0.2 1. So, 200,000, 2,500,000, 5,300,000, 10,000, and then Goku, regular, and then Super Saiyan Goku power levels all the way around at over 15,000 Krillins, which is billion or a trillion or something, if I'm counting the zeros correctly. Ah, here's the Infinity Gems, talking about all uh, six versions with the power, reality, mind, space, time, and soul gem, with the soul gem, and the reality gem. Now, yes, the reality and soul gems are the ones that haven't uh, been in the cinematic universe yet. The others have, so that's four out of six. And here's the Loot Pins DLC. Oh, so you get to unlock Rare Loot and Battleborn if you have it on the PS4, Xbox One, or the PC. Ah, it's out of based on one of the AI minions. Yeah, okay. And here's um, like product placements for the Loot Crate anime and the Loot Crate pets. And nerding out with Warcraft, Robert Kaczynski, right? So he's one of the stars of Warcraft. And so it's an interview with him. Quite a few pages. Pretty good in depth, hopefully. Ah, and here's the words of power to uh, fill in the blanks. So you can do this like straight up literal or an ad lib kind of thing. Ah, and the Thanos muffins of death recipe, like chocolate. So it's a chocolate muffin, a chocolate muffin of death. Ah. And how do you get superpowers for geeks and gamers? You can either find some aliens, get it from magic, in tech, or mutate. Hmm. Ah, and here's the featured looters splash page where it shows all the loot from previous crates. Ah, and this month's mega crate, you could have gotten a Hot Toys Thanos with the Phase 2 Blu-ray collection from Marvel, camera, poster, PS4, plus a PS4 skin from Dragon Ball Z, and the mini Mega Crate, which has the Murloc Solar Buddy, the Dragon Ball Z earbuds, and a Hulk apron. I think it's not better. Ah, yeah, and this one, the Loot Crate Deluxe, or DX. Okay. Bigger box, even better loot. DX, a high caliber collection of 46 items 
from your favorite pop culture franchises. Um, yeah, uh, find out more information about it at loop.cr slash get DX. Also, what? Page in between. Ah, another Q&A with Martin Lundhan for Loop Gaming. Yeah, he is the CEO of Warhammer End Times. Vermis. Vermintide. A uh, first person shooter game. So that's interesting. So, yeah, more ads for Loop Gaming. You level up, which is optional to get in your, your crate box. Uh, and the Word Gush. Uh, phone game you can play with your friends. So, it's a, a few items than uh, previous crates, but they're larger items, so that's, I mean, better. So, um, June should be the DC's now it should be Marvel's Women of Power trait for the collector's core and then the month July which is when Anime Expo 2016 will be which I will go to still need to finish the videos for 2015 and upload them but yeah, I'll get done now that I have more time but um I don't remember what the DC crate should be but it should be something more movie related uh, it should be the Suicide Squad crate I believe since that comes out in August wait does the crate no, it does go out in August. <coughs> hmm. Well, I'm not sure. I will check on you next month for that, but uh, stay tuned. I will have more of my regular reviews, my tour reviews out more. Um, there will be the Loot Crate every month, and then the alternating Marvel and DC crates. So, stay tuned and watch more videos if you like it. See you guys later.